Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Power Wheelchairs for Success and today we're going to dive into some deep questions uh, because everybody has questions about wheelchairs, <laughs> especially if, you know, there's a lot of things to consider if you are trying to purchase a wheelchair or your wheelchair is coming up for a renewal uh, or to upgrade. Uh, with your insurance. So so let's talk about part-time versus full-time. You know, some of us uh, don't have any option and we are put in wheelchairs uh, full-time. So that means that, you know, it's really important to uh, get it right. And uh, just to clarify what I meant is that, you know, wheelchairs are, uh, when they're going to be made for you, you know, there's a lot of measurements that have to be done. I have a need for a second wheelchair due to travel needs uh, because a power wheelchair is more difficult to transport than a manual wheelchair. And um, so that, that manual wheelchair, because I'll be using it pretty heavy duty uh, when I travel, then uh, there has to be some measurements uh, that the company would like. I can't get it through the insurance because uh, I already got the power wheelchair through the insurance. So insurance companies will not approve uh, two wheelchairs. Uh, they will, you know, so you really have to play that, that balance act. So I'm hoping to uh, get the, um, the manual wheelchair. I, I'm, I'm looking for and requesting a, a budget for it uh, this year. So hopefully that will be approved and I can go ahead. But the company that I'm looking at to get it uh, needed some measurements. So they sent me a form for my uh, PT, uh, my physical therapist to fill out and take those measurements. And so we filled out the form and sent it back to the company. So now they are waiting for you know, my budget to, to be approved and they'll um, work with me on, on my needs for that wheelchair. Uh, and you might say, well, what kind of wheelchair are you looking at? And I'm looking at right now a uh, sports lightweight manual wheelchair, either folding or not. Um, I, I, I don't have the, a preference. Um, I just want to be able to take it apart and throw it in the car and go. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so hopefully uh, we will see if, if a rigid one or, or folding. I really don't have a preference. I just want to take the tires off and, and put the parts in the car. So, so we will we'll see. A rigid one would be fine too because you just have to take the wheels off and then you, you have the seat and you throw the seat in and you're good to go. So you really have to consider the types of wheelchairs that are out there and, and for what is the use, part-time, full-time. So full-time, really, you need to get those measurements in um, because you know your height, your weight, um, your your back, you know all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> so it's it's not as easy as just picking up a wheelchair and and now it's mine and and this is fine. No, uh, you do have to consider you know all the different types and what your needs are. So, and again, some of us have had serious accidents and and we have to be on a wheelchair permanently. And usually a clinic or a hospital will help us get the wheelchair that we need that's gonna fit our needs. Um, but you can also consider, you know, if you're a person who's gonna use it part-time for when you go out uh, because you have balance issues or you, you have uh, fibromyalgia and you wanna conserve energy when you go out and, and enjoy your outings instead of getting completely exhausted in the first 10 minutes, <laughs> like myself. Um, <clears throat> then, you know, you could be a little bit more loose with the type of wheelchair. Uh, y you do want to be able to transport it uh, so you can, you know, and you have to consider, are you picking up that wheelchair or somebody else picking up the wheelchair? So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I can handle the wheelchair on my own, take off those tires uh, and, and the seat. So I have been doing some weights <laughs> to get some strength back. And hopefully I'll be able to do that to do that on my own. 
However, uh, there possibly might be somebody there who can help me, you know, take it apart and put it in, in the back seat or something. So it's, it's some of that and all of that, as I say. So you really have to take out a piece of paper and make a list of things that you want to see on that wheelchair. And if you, you know, you could say, oh, Lisa, I really don't care um, my nephew or my son or my husband will pick it up for me and throw it in the in the trunk. So all I need is a medical wheelchair and that's it. And and he'll pick it up and put it in the in the trunk. But mind you, the weight. You know, even if somebody else is going to pick it up for you, make sure that it's not too heavy for them too. You know, picking up a a medical wheelchair, those can you know weigh up to 30, 40 pounds. So you don't want to put too much pressure on, on the other person's back either. So if it's just a transport wheelchair in which somebody is going, going to push you, then you can get a lighter, uh, a lightweight uh, travel wheelchair, and that would be great you know, for you, but make sure it's comfortable, that it fits your size. Uh, you, know, you don't want to get something that's too small or something that's too big and you're swimming in it. You know, and it's not too heavy for the person who's going to be helping you to pick it up and put it in the, in the trunk. So, so you really have to make that list and, and see what's, what's going to work the best. Uh, it's, it's not as easy as running out the door and just purchasing the first wheelchair you see. Uh, it's, it's like buying a shoe. you got to make sure that the shoes fit your feet, that they feel comfortable. And, and then you make the decision, you know, in terms of cost, size, color, you know, all those kind of things. So, uh, so think of it that way. I think it's uh, good to, um, to think of, a, you know, as a shoe. So, yeah, so you, you got to think of, can I store a transport uh, and transport the, ch the chair with ease? So that's, that's a good question. Uh, are the wheels durable? Now, wheels for, for uh, wheelchairs comes in all sizes. Uh, the one thing that I've learned is the smaller the wheels, uh, the more difficult time it will have handling cracks and potholes in the sidewalk. So you really want those wheels to be sturdy and to be able to handle outside and inside. And what I mean by inside is it, uh, <coughs> Some of these wheels can really mark up your floors and your carpet, so you want to make sure that it's made of, you know, wheels that are not going to mark up your floors and mess up your floors. So, uh, you know, one is a soft rubber uh, and, and can make a lot of streaks on your floors. So you want to make sure it's good for indoor and outdoor. Uh, you want to make sure that it has a good, you know, uh, a back support. So you, you, if you're going to be sitting in this chair for an hour or two hours and you're outing, you want to make sure that, it, again, it's comfortable. The seat and the back and the armrests and everything else. So uh, it's kind of like that shoe theory. Does this shoe fit? <laughs> Consider your own personal preferences, and that, that is important. You know, um, do you want to uh, handle a, a, a power wheelchair? Uh, or a wheelchair on your own. So that would be, you know, uh, and you could consider getting a uh, lightweight travel power wheelchair. And that way no one has to push you. You don't have to uh, propel yourself. And so then you don't have to strain your muscles. And there are some really good lightweight power wheelchairs out there uh, these days. There's a lot coming out on the market. Uh, there's some new ones coming out all the time, so so that could be it. Uh, and you could put a either a lift in your car, or you if you have a van, then you could um, have a ramp and uh, guide the chair into your into your van. So there's all kinds of options. Sometimes too many. <laughs> so if if you feel confused, uh, don't worry, you're not alone. But let's talk about uh, insurance versus no insurance. Uh, wheelchairs can be, uh, have a wide, a really wide range of, of cost, you know, from the cheapest to the, to the highest price of $3,000, $4,000, $5,000. Uh, 
a wheelchair. So there's a lot of variety in, in the wheelchairs. And you might say, oh, Lisa, I just need something really cheap. Well, the cheapest are the medical clunky wheelchairs that we know that we see in the, in the clinics and hospitals. That's a medical wheelchair and they're pretty heavy and they're made of metal <laughs> and they're a, they are as heavy as heck. So um, those are the cheapest. So and and then you start going up the up the line. So some people ask about measurements. Lisa, is there like small, medium, large size wheelchairs? Uh, yes and no. Um, you know, in terms of the medical wheelchairs, yes, they they do come in uh, a variety of sizes. But uh, wheelchairs, for the most part, are made uh, according to your needs. So again, we go back to that theory of the shoe. If you're gonna buy a shoe, you, you know what your size is and you know what colors you like and you know what, you know, so same thing for a wheelchair. So you gotta think, you, you want it in colors, you want it um, a big, small, medium, if you're looking at the medical wheelchairs. If you go up the next step and you say, no, I really want a manual wheelchair that I can propel myself, period. <laughs> so and done. So uh, there's all kinds um, of manual uh, self-propel wheelchairs. Uh, some are light, some are heavy. So the there are the lightweight, uh, rigid, or folding wheelchairs, and those will weigh between 10 to 20, 25 pounds. And um, but those are usually made uh, to your size. So the company might send you a form for you to, to fill out. Uh, the company I've been using, if you're asking me that, is Cura360. So the name is all together, C-U-R-A 360. And um, they're pretty good. Uh, their customer service has been working pretty well. And they sent me the form, I gave it to my PT. Uh, person and, and she filled out the, the measurement. So so um, it, it, it kind of goes like that. <laughs> so if you're going to do this online, uh, they know the, the budget that I'm working with, so they will uh, see how many uh, details that I would like in the wheelchair, see how many they can, they can put on and to add anything special that I would like. So according to cost. So um, one of the questions is how to fit a wheelchair to a person. There's a lot of measurements that need to be made. The length of your uh, legs while you're seated, your, your foot size, your shoulders, your arms, um, your back, all that has to be um, measured. So uh, another question that people ask a lot is how do I get a wheelchair? And again, this could be uh, with insurance or without insurance. Um, if you get it through insurance, every five years you can get a uh, new wheelchair and uh, update the one you have. So, um, you know, and it'll have some warranties and things that will help you as a consumer uh, through the insurance. And that can be for private insurance and, or Medicare, Medicaid. So Medicare does cover uh, wheelchairs, and Medicaid does as well. Whatever Medicare covers, Medicaid will also cover. So you can go through insurance or you can purchase it like I'm doing. I'm purchasing uh, the second wheelchair on my own. I'm not using insurance because I already have a wheelchair. They won't do two, two different wheelchairs. Maybe someday, but not right now. So, so I have to purchase this second one on my own. How to choose a wheelchair cushion. Uh, that is an important one. Uh, sometimes the cushion that the wheelchair comes with will be just fine for you and will work. Uh, some of us have uh, spine problems or spinal cord issues. Uh, sometimes we have a lot of pain. So, um, so we have you know, some difficulties uh, with, with sitting. So we have to get uh, a cushion. Uh, I, in the beginning, I used to be able to use, you know, those uh, memory foam type 
cushions, thick ones, uh, three to four inches, but now I can't. My skin has changed, so I have to use a honeycomb uh, gel cushion, which works just fine right now. So it allows me to shift. It allows the skin to, to breathe. So it's, it's those kind of things that have to be considered uh, uh, in regards to cushions. And everybody is so different. So what you don't want is something that's really hard that's going to irritate your skin. Uh, the next question, what is the best wheelchair? And uh, that is uh, uh, an odd question, but <laughs> because it really depends on your needs. It's not which one is the best one. You know, uh, you have to pick a wheelchair that's going to it's going to fit your needs. So that will be the best wheelchair on the market for you. So, you know, and you, you have to look at all the details. Do you want a power wheelchair? Do you want a manual wheelchair? And consider the, the work that each one is going to put on you. If it's a manual wheelchair, you have to propel. Um, if you're just going to use a travel manual wheelchair, then it's a light one and somebody's going to push you. Um, or do you want to go to the power wheelchair? You know, because I've used it heavy duty and I travel outside and I use it inside. So in the work that, that I have to put into it is to remember to charge it every night and also to keep it clean. So those are the two main things you have to do with a power wheelchair. And also it's a little hard to transport. So you need a van, all that kind of stuff to be able to get from point A to point B. So um, you, you have to consider, you know, transportation as well when you're looking at wheelchairs. So how to choose a wheelchair, and that's, that's really important. If you're in the market, it's good to take out that little piece of paper and kind of look uh, at what are your needs. You know, is it just part-time? Is it a full-time? Is it your wheelchair fell apart and you just need to get another one? And you have to consider, did you use insurance? Did you not use insurance? Um, you know, some people say, oh, my insurance will get more expensive. No, it won't. You know, if, if, if you go to your primary care doctor and say, hey, you know, I think I'm going to start needing a wheelchair to go out. Or, you know, I, I, I just want to use a, a wheelchair, you know, part time. Sometimes I'm in a lot of pain or I'm just feeling ill and I think a wheelchair would help me in that sense. So you want to start with your primary care doctor to kind of exchange ideas and see what they think. You have to consider the consequences too, that if you are using it full time or end up using a, a wheelchair full time, that it's going to be important for you to have some kind of exercise routine because sitting all the time will affect your blood pressure, will affect your <coughs> bone mass, will affect your skin if you're seated a long time, so you gotta be able to shift. You don't want any ulcers, I promise you, you don't want that. So uh, you, you really need to consider, will you be able to take care of yourself and have some exercises that you can do so it doesn't affect your health. When we're using wheelchairs full time, you know, it really, will impact some some parts of our our bodies and we, we need to consider that and do the exercises we need to do so that uh our bodies don't don't uh crumble on us <laughs> so you know which wheelchair is right for me and that's that's one of the things that you need to consider and talk over with with your doctor and their your primary care doctor is is the best place to start with that Will you be using the chair inside or outside? And that's really important because the wheels uh, will be crucial. If you're only using it outside, you know, you can get a soft rubber wheel so it has a good grip and all that kind of stuff. You don't want the wheels to be too small because it'll get stuck in cracks and, and potholes. So you want it, you know, 10 inches at least or a little bit bigger, but you know, you, you want those bigger wheels and the, the salad wheels. Um, I never want to deal with uh, wheels that you have to put air in them because that would drive me crazy and that's, that would be a personal choice. I don't want to have to 
be checking the wheels all the time to see if they have enough air or not. So um, there are types of wheels that you can get that are solid and won't affect your floors or your carpet for inside and they'll be just as good outside. So you have to put that out there for the salesperson. What kind of terrain? So do you have gravel? Do you have sidewalks? Do you have asphalt do you want to go on trails do you you know what what kind of terrain are you looking at and that's one question that'll come up in the evaluation when you're looking at a, a wheelchair what kind of terrain that's really important i like to go to parks and and hike a little bit um so my wheelchair has mine's a power wheelchair and i have uh, uh, some pretty sturdy um mid mid wheel uh terrain type uh, power wheelchair I can use it inside I can I can go to the park and, and no issue I can go on gravel I can go on grass and and it handles all kinds of terrain and uh, the big one is how you're going to transport it so you know I have to use a van when I'm using the power wheelchair so so I use um, I use a, a van for the county if I have to go somewhere specific or I use our house van <coughs> for appointments and other things. So uh, because a power wheelchair is 250 pounds and up, they're very heavy. So uh, there's no, uh, no getting around that um, unless you wanted to use like a scooter that can fold down and you can put that in the trunk. So there's, there's those options too. And, uh, well, we already saw this question. Are you gonna use it full-time, part-time of the day? So that's another question that's gonna come up as you look at wheelchairs. And is it's important to, to take a look at if you're gonna be handling this wheelchair by yourself or is somebody gonna help you to uh, pick it up and, and put it wherever it needs to go? So <clears throat> there's another question here that's really important. Okay, are the wheels durable? And uh, this is what you need to ask the salesperson because that is an important question. Um, are the wheels durable? You know, one of the things that I avoid is those inflatable wheels, even though they're softer uh, for riding around. However, you have to keep an eye on the wheels <laughs> and they could get a puncture or whatever. So I just don't want that hassle. Uh, solid wheels to me are like the best. Um, and you know, you want to uh, make sure that you know, you're checking them. Uh, I've not had any problems with um, my wheels on um, my power wheelchair at all. They are solid wheels. They are not inflatable. So uh, if they start to chip or whatever, <clears throat> and that hasn't happened, I've had my wheelchair for two years now, and the wheels have been just fine, and I really uh, use it heavy duty. Uh, so uh, my wheels have been fine. So you, you just have to ask those questions and just say, you know, I want some wheels that are durable. I want the, um, the air-filled uh, wheels so that, you know, my ride is softer or I want the solid wheels. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a matter of preference as well. So the salesperson will be able to advise you in terms of wheels and size. Again, the smaller the wheels are gonna get stuck in cracks and, and um, potholes easier. If you get, you know, wheels that are a little bit bigger in size, um, the, then they'll be able to handle cracks and potholes better for you. So my uh, mid wheels are, I think, 10 inch. And my casters must be at least five or six inches. So they handle cracks and, and potholes pretty well. So I just wanted to throw out those questions so you can kind of look at, you know, are you upgrading? Are you getting a new wheelchair? What has your doctor said? You know, you have to consider your health in terms of sitting long hours, but if it's just for an outing, you know, then get a wheelchair that it will be easy to push you around in, or if you want to self-propel, 
you know, do you want a lightweight travel power wheelchair so you can drive yourself around or are you going to use a manual wheelchair and you can propel yourself or have somebody push you? So those are some basic questions that you want to kind of look at as you're looking at a, a wheelchair for yourself, whether you have to go outside of your insurance or through your insurance. And if it's through your insurance and you start with your primary, then you go to PT, uh, physical therapy, and they'll just evaluate your condition. They might want to help you get a little bit stronger in some areas. Um, and then they'll help you uh, discuss the issue of uh, a wheelchair. When I went back to therapy two years ago, two years and a half maybe, the therapist right away said, well, okay, we, she, she met me for the first time, uh, uh, the first 10 minutes, she said, we need to look at a, a wheelchair. And I was like, what? <laughs> I worked so hard to get away from the wheelchair use. And she said, look, you know, the fibromyalgia is, is really pulling you down. And I'm not saying you have to use it full time, but at least part time. So when you go out, you have something that will help save you energy. And a manual wheelchair, you, you're going to propel, you're going to use all your energy doing that, and you're going to be exhausted in the next five minutes. <laughs> so let's look at a power wheelchair. So she really worked with me on that and we talked about other health conditions and so we went with a power wheelchair but now I'm in kind of a need and a bind to to get around a little bit more and I want to get back to driving so that definitely will need a, a wheelchair that I can load on the car and just go so that's my story I'm sticking to it and I'm hoping these questions reviewing these questions are very helpful for you. If you have more questions about uh, Medicare, <coughs> what they cover, what they don't cover, I'm going to take a look at that. Um, there's some news that has come out, so uh, I will probably uh, put in that news for wheelchair news you can use, and that'll be posted on Monday. And uh, yesterday I did not post uh, the Wheelchair Tech Friday because I was in meetings all day. <laughs> so. I did not have a chance, so, um, but the news for Monday, I'll, I'll post that, and that will have some information on Medicare and what their decisions are uh, upgrading some benefits for wheelchair users. All righty, well, this is Lisa from Power Wheelchairs for Success. Uh, please feel free to look at the videos that are posted above and, um, and take a look at that to see if that's also helpful. If you find this channel uh, useful for you, feel free to subscribe or like. Those are the two ways that you can always assist uh, a YouTube creator. And I hope to see you in the next one.